Good day, Commander. I want to show you a step-by-step -step example of how to create the form and the catalog page using the custom tables. Let's create the appointments form page as an example. This form will have the following fields, full name, email, and date. We will also create a catalog view page to see the list of submitted appointment applications. Additionally, the website will send a notification email to the owner of the website. The first thing to do is to create a new table. Next, we need to add fields to our table. Then, we create the form catalog, and the last thing is to create the menu items to make the form and the catalog visible on the website. Now, step by step. First, in the dashboard, click on Tables. Now, click on New. Next, we're going to write the unique table name and the table title. Then we're going to pass to the description and we're going to write a description. Now click on save and close. We have zero fields, so let's add some fields. Click on new and our first field will be called full name. In optional, you can change if you want it to be required or not. Now let's click on save and new because we're going to create another one. You have to change the field type to email also. Let's add a third one called date and let's put it required again. Now we have three fields. We pass to dashboards and let's create some layouts. Click on new and our first layout name will be submit appointments. In the type, let's change to edit form and for the table field, let's put appointments. Now we pass to HTML desktop and let's click on layout auto creator. We can click on the HTML buttons to modify them. Now let's click on save and close. Let's add a new one. So we click on new. And this one we'll call list of appointments. And for the type, we're going to leave simple catalog. And for the table, we're going to put appointments too. Now we pass to HTML desktop where we'll also click on layout auto creator. Let's add a new one, which we'll call email layout. For the type, we're going to put email message and the table appointments again. Now we pass to HTML desktop and click on layout auto creator and save. Now let's create some menu items. For our first menu item, we're going to call it submit appointment. For the menu item type, we're going to go to custom tables and we're going to click on the add edit record. Now in the status, make sure that it's published. In options for the who may add content, we're going to put it to public and the three that follow, we're going to put it on administrator. We're going to also change other options. For the email layout, select the one that we created before. And don't forget to save and close. Now let's pass to our front end and in the main menu, you should see the submit appointment that we created. If you click on it, you should see the submit form that we have created. Now let's fill it in to see where the information will be saved. Let's go back to our back end and we can see that if we click on tables, you will see that it has one record. Now let's click on it and you'll see that it's the record that we just created. Let's go to main menu, click on new and create the list of appointments so that you can see all the appointments on the front end. For the menu item type, go to custom tables and click on records. Now in options for the page layout, choose the list of appointments layout that we created before. And for the edit layout, choose the submit appointments layout. Make sure it's published and also in the access, make sure it's special so that not everyone can see it. Save and close. Now if we go back to our front end, you can see that if we're not logged in, we're only going to see the submit appointments, but if we log in, we're going to also see the list of appointments, and we can see that our record is in it. I hope this example has helped you, so thank you and see you next time!